Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. Today we get an apology for Cyberpunk's launch, AMD announces Ryzen 5000 non-X models, and both Nvidia and AMD discuss supply issues. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, CD Projekt Red's co-founder recently responded to Cyberpunk's terrible console launch in a new video. In it, he did apologize for the disaster and went over the daunting task of creating such a game. And of course, the scope is huge with everything going on in the city, the density of it, etc. But he then mentioned the testing and essentially claims to have not known about most of the issues we saw during launch. Now, the problem I have with that is that reviewers weren't even allowed to use their own footage for a while, which is something we've basically never seen before. Plus, console copies went out really late, so they seem pretty aware of the problems. Still, it is good that he addressed most of the concerns, and he shared a new roadmap. As you can see, they have many updates coming, with the first being 10 days after the video's release. Then the free DLC is expected sometime in the first half of this year. Unfortunately, the next-gen console updates won't be coming until later in the year. At the end of the day, it's good that they apologized, but it still feels more like a PR stunt than anything else. At least CD Projekt Red is definitely planning to fix things. But first, if you're stuck at home all day like many, fight off boredom and learn a new skill with today's sponsor, Skillshare, the online learning community and app that offers thousands of classes for just about everything. From animation to music, business skills, and so much more. Plus, they're always adding new classes. To top it off, they offer classes for every skill level. I'm definitely excited to get better at filmmaking moving forward. Oh, and the best part is that you get all of this for less than $10 a month. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity today. Next up for today, if you saw the stream I did on AMD's CES event, you know that I was hoping the company would announce the Ryzen 5000 non-X CPUs. And while we did hear about the Ryzen 5000 mobile chips, the company never mentioned desktop processors. Instead, talking about sports. Anyway, I have some good news. While they didn't mention it during their keynote, AMD actually shared two new non-X models in their press release. This right here comes from the press release that I received, and as you can see, the leaks were correct. We have the Ryzen 7 5800 and Ryzen 9 5900. First up is the Ryzen 7 5800, which is an 8-core 16-thread part with a 3.4GHz base clock and a 4.6GHz boost. Then there's the 5900, which is the same 12-core CPU but with a base clock of 3GHz and a boost of 4.7. Both have a TDP of 65 watts. The good news is that we already have some benchmarks, and while the single core score is less, the multi core score is identical. And with some tweaks on Precision Boost Overdrive, the user was actually able to get similar performance across the board. With that said, I have terrible news. Both parts are OEM only, meaning they aren't available to the DIY market. Why do you keep doing this, AMD? And lastly for today, we finally get answers on the supply issues from both AMD and Nvidia. Now they come with multiple interviews with both companies, so let's get right to it. First up, in an interview with Nvidia's CFO, Colette Kress, Seeking Alpha got a chance to ask about the supply issues. In it, she answers, quote, Our overall Ampere architecture and ray tracing are really a true success. This demand has remained stronger for longer, okay, so supply does remain tight at this time. We expect the overall channel inventories, meaning the inventories that are with our AIC partners as well as in our e-tail and retail channels, will likely remain lean throughout Q1. So yeah, it's that last part that really matters. It looks like we won't see supply catch up until much later than we originally thought. Oh, and when she says Q1, she's likely referring to NVIDIA's Q1, which doesn't technically end until late April. So yeah, bad news from NVIDIA. Luckily, when it comes to AMD, things aren't looking as bad. Sort of. They told The Verge that AMD expects to sell more reference design GPUs on their site. The issue is that they're committed to selling, quote, to as many gamers as possible, meaning they likely won't catch up with demand. Still, anything is better than what we've been seeing. 
you may actually get a chance to pick one up soon, to which make sure to subscribe to the channel for when those do release. When it comes to fully meeting demand, I do have some bad news. In an interview with Anantech, AMD CEO Lisa Su claims that the company is, quote, putting in additional capacity to meet this unexpected demand. It will take time to catch up, but that's what we're seeing. Of course, that is good news, but later in the interview, she states, quote, There will be tightness in the first half of the year, but alongside consumers, we also ship to OEM partners. Maybe that last bit is a glimmer of hope, but it's not sounding all that promising. To top it off, she mentioned the tariffs and pricing increases due to COVID, so we will likely see prices get higher, though she never actually mentions by how much. At the end of the day, there's some hope for those looking to buy a GPU, but wide availability looks to be far off. So while that does it for today, are you happy with the supply news or are you just bummed it seems like it's gonna take forever? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.